Clark simply not good enough tonight. What's your thoughts on the performance? Yeah, it was a little bit man against boys out there tonight. Um, you know, physically and mentally, we looked we looked wounded out there. And um, you know, that's the first game that we've you know. I think like Wrexham, that isn't always going to be our yardstick. They're a good, strong squad, great, you know, well assembled and that. But what they have done is they've really magnified some some frailties that we've shown in in all of our games, and they've really hammered that home today. So that's something we've got to fix and fix quickly. Um, and it's yeah, it's obviously a very disappointing. We're all hurting at the moment, um, but we've uh, you know the job never changes. We've still got to like you know reflect, learn, move on, and and, and grow. You know, we've got to be. You know, keep working hard. We've got a lot to work on, that is for sure. Um, but like I said, that was um, a very weak performance from us tonight, and that's um, that's the most thing that's hurting at the moment. Looking at the lineup, obviously there's a few more key players missing as well through injury. But with that, it brings us my mind a positive from tonight in Young James getting on the bench for the first time. Yeah, definitely. And look, you know, this this club's always going to need to produce its own players, and there's you know a nice conveyor belt coming along and. You know, obviously, had Tommy Willard Will as well will come on, who's going to come through as well. So, we, you know, when we have got at the moment, we've got some key men missing at the moment, um, and it's you know it's nice that we've got players who can step up. But um, like I said, I think we're probably missing a few of our key players on the on the pitch at the moment. But you know, we can have no excuse. Um, we've we've got to uh, find a way of um, playing better at the moment. There's a lot made, obviously, about the game being you know abandoned and then brought back to tonight. What was the message going into the game prior to kickoff? Well, look, we've got everything to fight for. Um, you know, we've got to be making sure we're more more positive on the pitch. Um, we've got to give something to the crowd to get behind. But you know, at the moment, our frailties are showing, our nerves nervousness is showing, and obviously some obvious errors for the goals again. You know, we've got to give ourselves a chance. We can't keep giving away the goals that we are at the moment. Um, and then that just at the moment we look like a, a team that's just lacking that little bit of uh, confidence and belief. But you've got to earn confidence. It ain't something just given. You've got to go out and earn it. And you earn that during the week. Um, how you apply yourself, how professional you are. And um, at the moment we need to, you know, dust ourselves off, reflect, work harder. And um, you know we're looking for a few people to stand up and be counted now. Of course, we find ourselves two goals behind at half time. A lot to bring back in the second half. What was the message going into that? Yeah, we want to be a little bit more aggressive, make the pitch a bit smaller, squeeze up a little bit, shuffle a little bit harder, um, talk to each other. I mean, communication is a uh, you know lacking a little bit out there for me, which is a, a big frustration because that's you know we've got to help each other out there. And um, look, we're we're a young group learning learning some harsh lessons at the moment, but we know these, these we can't be having the same conversations. We've got we've got to be finding a way now. Um, like I said, we haven't got uh, some of our players coming back. They're not coming back anytime soon. So we've got to find a way, and we've got to find a way quickly. Of course, it requires the players that are, you know, playing at the moment and are fit and available to step up to the plate, as you mentioned. Yeah, look, there's loads of opportunity. This is a great league, a great. Uh, tough league where you know you come in and have a good game. This is a great platform for your, for your career. It's a great platform to play at a great level, and you've got to take them chances now with both hands. This is uh, football is a, a cold, hard, brutal place, and um, you know you've you've got to stand up and be counted at all times. Um, otherwise, you know your career is quickly over now. Um, you know, and that's for players and, and managers. So we've all got to have um, a good, hard look in, in the mirror at ourselves. Um, like I said. Wrexham are a fantastic outfit and um, you know that might not be our yardstick but what they have done is they've they've really shown up the, the frailties that we've shown in other games and we've always been disappointed in other games because you know we've created chances we always felt that we were in every game but we were out of that game before we were even in it by um, you know naivety again. I think that was the most thing for you is the fact that you know in the previous games yes we might have lost them but we've been in the games but tonight we've just you know Wrexham step up where well, I can't remember us having a real chance tonight yeah no 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 I think that, that, that was the frustrating thing um, you know and in second half we have spells you know we hit the ball we smash a shot hits our own man on the thing you know they hit one it goes in the top corner but you know we're, we're hiding behind we're hiding behind moments there you know you can't just keep having moments but when you do have moments you need to take them like Wrexham did but also you've got to be on your guard all times in this league for any team, let alone Wrexham with the quality they possess. And um, look, we've had a week to prep that game and we've worked hard to prep it right. And um, unfortunately, we didn't have conviction in, in, in the way that we've done it tonight. Of course, it's a harsh lesson, as you mentioned. You know, for those players that are full time, what, what was said? I think that some things are better 
kept in house. I think um, we've got to be careful with the group. Um, you know, they've, you know, they're down, they're hurting, and um, you know, the home form has become a bit of a psychological thing as well. And um, you know, you could see that tension and sometimes that pressure out there. And that's up to me to take that away from them. Because of course, some other fans will go home frustrated tonight. But the message from me will surely be stick with us, and you know, we'll hopefully turn this right. Yeah, look, look rightly so. They're frustrated, and I, und I understand that. Um, we've got to give them something to get behind, um, and we've got to generate that. There's, um, you know, only us can get ourselves out of this, and uh, I only want people around me now who are ready to ready to fight, roll up their sleeves, and give everything for this football club because uh, we're going to need everyone, and we're going to need that crowd with us, and it's up to us to get them on our side. Of course, back at home again against another top team in this league, Grimsby. Yeah, yeah, they, they come thick and fast. They, you know, every game in this league is tough. Um, you know, they'll, they'll probably be buoyed by seeing us tonight. Um, but again, another chance for us to, you know, another chance for us to get back on the horse and, and um, turn things around. Are you in with a shot? Look below for more information. Click here for the next video. Click here to subscribe.